the Mecca and the Knicks. It doesn't get any bigger than this. 1973 was New York's last NBA championship. And today, we are starting a new series on the channel where we will be becoming the GM of the New York Knicks. We'll be making trades. We'll be making signings. We are on a mission to get New York back to where it belongs. I would like to welcome you guys to a brand new series on the channel where we will be becoming the leader of the New York Knicks. A franchise with a hell of a lot of history. A franchise worth saving. It is J21 Productions. It is the New York Knicks. If you guys are excited for this series, smash that like button. New York, J21, let's do it. It is here, our New York Knicks My NBA GM series. Episode one, let's get straight into it. So New York comes with a lot of history, a lot of expectation. Let's have a look at the roster and let's have a look at some expectations. So Jalen Brunson was signed in the off season. We have a lot of, I would say, decisions to make. Uh, with our first year as the New York GM. Now, every single video is going to be different, so sit back, relax. Uh, we've got something exciting at the end of the video as well. But let's get some expectations and the direction of the team. So, we want to trade for a superstar. We want to upgrade our roster slash bench. Bench, we want to have an all-star. We also want to win 50 games this year. And, of course, we want to make the playoffs. Now, I do I mean, want your input, so give me input on some of the moves that I make, some of the things that we're looking towards. Now, this roster is... Not a contending roster now. They've got some good pieces. We've got RJ Barrett, Julius Randle, Josh Hart, Jalen Brunson. We have a lot of work to do to improve this roster, and that's exactly what we're going to do this season, this series with the New York Knicks. Now, our goal, like I said, win 50 games. We need to try and unload some veterans. We need to try and look at bringing in a superstar to play alongside either Jalen Brunson or Julius Randle. Uh, just being in camp, we've been working as a unit, as a squad, uh, I honestly believe that nothing major was going to happen in episode one because we're just filling out process. We're going to have our first game. Um, you guys are going to see the new Real highlight, and the new way we do highlights on the channel. So, New York, what do we want to build? How do we want to build it? You already know with Tom Thibodeau, we are trying to bring in the best possible roster. And it all starts now. We've been on the phone to teams. We've been making moves. And now I'm going to show you guys some of the moves we've made. Now, our first move was unloading some of the veterans. So we're going to unload Derek Rose. Unfortunately, D Rose, I don't see him uh, really getting a, a fair shake at it with our team. Now, you guys might say this is a bit questionable uh, with one of the moves we, we make next. But decided to try and get Malik Beasley. The Los Angeles Lakers agreed to this deal. So we're bringing on some shooting. We want to be a three-point shooting team. And I feel like Beasley is going to be able to stretch the floor. He's been shooting the ball pretty well for the Los Angeles Lakers. And now we send Derek Rose to the Lakers. We receive Beasley for some shooting off the bench. Now, let's have a look. Our jam moves so far. D Rose out, Beasley in. Now, we're going to be making a lot of trades. Evan Fournier, another player with a big, big contract. We will be trading him to the Charlotte Hornets for Derek Smith Jr., where we will be waiving D. Smith Jr. So D. Smith Jr. comes over, basically just like a salary dump for us. Evan Fournier, we get off his contract, and that leads us in to our first free agent signing, and that's John Wall. I'm bringing John Wall on just on the basis of, I feel like he has a little bit more left. He's a pretty good player in NBA 2K. I feel like him off the bench behind Jalen Brunson can add uh, some scoring power. I, I mean, some people might say, why'd you get rid of D. Rose? You, you could have just had D. Rose over John Wall. But we're going to give John Wall a go, a fair crack at it. Um, I feel like he hasn't really got the whole shake of it with his current team. So John Wall joins. He, I mean, I'm excited. I'm excited to have John Wall. We'll be changing his number, don't you worry. So, so far, our jam moves. D. Rose, Fournier, D. Smith, and in comes Beasley and John Wall. So we're moving fast. Our starting five for our first game is looking like this. Jalen Brunson, Quinton Grimes, RJ Barrett, Julius Randle, and Mitchell Robertson. Now, like I said, we want to be shooting the three. So we've changed our system to pace and space. So got a lot of things to consider. We do have, I mean, one of my main goals is to improve the bench and also trade for a superstar. So stick around for the end of the video. There's something really exciting. We still got this in mind. Do we just try and tank the year and try and get Victor? Because we know Victor's coming in the next draft. 
Maybe we just tank the year and we try and get Victor, but that's not what I want to do. I, I was thinking about this for quite a while and I decided that we want to win 50 games. We want to make the playoffs, so we're going to try and make some serious moves. Some people might question some of the moves I've made so far, but don't you worry. There's some meaning behind it and we definitely have some targets out there we are going after uh, this season. So some of our targets at the moment, we've got Bradley Beal, Kyrie Irving, Halliburton. Just looking for a point guard to play alongside Jalen Brunson. And either a shooting guard. I mean, I'm also looking at Vanderbilt from the Los Angeles Lakers. So I'm going to see if I can get something going there. Our untouchables at the moment are RJ Barrett and Jalen Brunson. I really want to build around them. On the trading block is Obi Toppin and I'd say everyone else on the roster. But first game of the year. Let's do it. Let's have a look at our first game. We are taking on the Memphis Grizzlies. Their key player, Ja Morant. Our key player at the moment is Julius Randle. So first game of the season with... I mean, two new additions. We haven't made anything serious yet. Don't you worry. Things are coming. Things are going to happen. We're going to be an aggressive GM. I'm going to try and make it as realistic as possible. Some people might say, why would a GM come in and make all these moves? We're trying to win 50 games. And it, I mean, it starts right now. I mean, this might not be the roster we take on with the rest of the year. But every game we play, we want it to mean something. So this is our first game. And it's against the Memphis Grizzlies in Memphis. So let's see what this roster looks like. I kind of wanted to take a look. And see, so let's get into it. First quarter highlights. We started out here, Quinton Grimes pushing the pace, RJ Barrett. I'm really expecting RJ to have a big year. Hopefully, he can he can have a big year for us. And then we just keep on rolling. Grimes for three. He knocks it down. Interested to see his trade value. Do we keep Grimes on the roster as Jaron Jackson Jr. goes in? Now, Jalen Brunson, I tell you what, I like Jalen. I, I mean, at the moment, I'm kind of stuck in the air. Do we keep Julius Randle or do we keep Jalen Brunson? I feel like one has to go if we are going to push on and, I mean, bring in a big trade partner as RJ Barrett goes in. Now, we were trailing the Grizzlies in this second quarter, as you guys can see. Just to feel out process at the moment. With, we get our first look at John Wall, and Wall actually had an impact early on in this game. So some people might say, why did you bring in John Wall? But this is what I feel like he could bring for us off the bench. A scoring punch. Um, he's able to run the second unit as well. Now, RJ Barrett here, like I said, hopefully he can have a big year. Maybe he can be an all-star for us. I mean, you just don't know. Steven Adams, he gets it to go. Let's get into the second half action in Memphis. Julius Randle starts to come alive in this quarter. I'm interested to see what we could possibly get for Julius or Jalen if we want to package them up, maybe move them on, because like I said, we are trying everything in our power to... Uh, Give this New York organization a chance to win and win now. Now, if you guys can remember our Utah Jazz series as Josh Hart hits a three, we were, re I mean, we were building. Two years we were building, we were rebuilding. It took us a while to make the playoffs. We made the playoffs in our second year. But as you guys can see here, we are not doing that. As RJ Barrett hits a three to get us right in the game. And as we go into the fourth quarter, we actually have the lead. So... Like I said, feel out process game. Just wanted to see how we're going to give it a fair shake. And we're playing some good ball at the moment. RJ Barrett again for three. Like I said, hopefully he can have a big year for us. Poor defense there. But first episode, just wanted to give you guys a little bit of a welcome. As look at this from Julius Randle. He goes into the left hand. We've got some big news developing with this New York team. I'm interested to see where we can get this New York team. But if you guys are excited for this series, please hit that like button. Jackson hits a three here to keep... Memphis in the game, but I tell you what, we had answers. This uh, New York team really surprised me. You can see here Jalen Brunson dancing, kicks it to Barrett again, and Barrett hits another three. We go up by six with a chance here to really try and close the game. Now, Ja Morant, he's tough. We already know he's going to bring it every single night. He gets it to go, but like I said, we want to build this New York Knicks team. Uh, I've been in some trade talks. I've, I've, the GM's been on the phone as look at Brunson. We just wanted to feel out process in our first game. And I wanted to show you guys how we're going to be doing highlights this year on this New York Knicks series. And as you guys can see, Jalen Brunson stepped up to the plate, man. He hit some free throws, really got going. I like Jalen on this team. He actually brings uh, a lot of, I'd say, toughness to this team. Memphis turned the ball over here, and Brunson basically closed the game. So, first game of the year, we get the job done. Big time win. Even after bringing in some small additions, we are due for a big addition in our next video. Now, um, we've, I mean, I've got, a, I've got a lot to look forward to in this series. I really hope you guys are going to enjoy this series. Like I said, a bit of an intro uh, episode as we get the job done here in Memphis. Big time win. First win of the season, 115-109. Julius Randle, 26-11. But... Like I said, to close this video, I wanted to give you guys a bit of an insight what has been going on at the Knicks. Tom Thibodeau's been working. He's been on the phone. He's been intriguing. We've been in talks. 
Our GM's been on the phone. Things are exciting for this New York Knicks team. If you guys want to see episode two of this, hit that like button. Let's aim for 150 likes. Our GM has been on the phone, and we've got some breaking news before we close the episode. I said I wanted to get a superstar. I don't know if it's setting stone yet, but Woj is here, and Woj is here to announce what is going on. So, I've been on the phone. I've been trying to work out some trade avenues to a superstar, and at the moment, we've been in talks with... Washington Wizards star Bradley Beal. So hopefully we can try and get something done. Nothing setting in stone yet. Um, I have been trying to work all sorts of different trade packages to try and bring in Bradley Beal. I don't want to give up crazy amount to get Beal. Hopefully if we have to give up a crazy amount to get Bradley Beal, uh, we may have to get a player back. Maybe a Kyle Kuzma, maybe a Crispin. I mean, you just don't know. But Bradley Beal can bring a lot of scoring for us from that shooting guard position, but I feel like we're lacking at the moment. Uh, we bring in Bradley Beal. We bring in another superstar to play alongside either Jalen Brunson or play alongside Julius Randle. So something to look forward to. Something to see what happens in episode two. If we can get Beal's deal done. I mean, all these deals break down. But at the moment, we've been in talks. I've been looking, trying to get this deal done. At the moment... New, uh, Washington will not accept what we've offered them. This is the offer that I've sent to Washington. Julius Randle, Mitchell Robertson, and basically five to, to four first-round draft picks. So hopefully we get something done. I am asking for Kyle Kuzma back. We're at a stalemate at the moment, but maybe episode two will find a way to get this deal done. If you guys want to see episode two, hit that like button. Stay blessed. I hope you enjoyed episode one of the series, and I'll see you in the next one.